The skies will never be the same. In 2024, the U.S. Air Force will select the winner of the 6th generation NGAD fighter competition. The next generation air dominance fighter will replace the mighty F-22 Raptor with some 200 examples planned to be built. Brace yourselves for the dawn of a new era in air supremacy. The NGAD fighter is not just any fighter. Rather, it is a family of systems that will soon replace the mighty F-22 Raptor as the 6th generation air superiority platform. At the centerpiece of this NGAD system is a manned fighter aircraft that is advanced, hyper-stealthy, and has been referred to as PCA for penetrating counter-air. But what makes the NGAD fighter so special? Well, for starters, it boasts a tailless design. That's right, no vertical tails. Because vertical tails can degrade stealth by increasing the aircraft's radar cross-section, making it more likely to be detected. Vertical tails also create drag and reduce the aircraft's speed. More on that later. However, losing vertical tails could also mean losing some maneuverability. But fear not, as this penalty can be offset by the use of thrust vectoring engines or innovative use of existing control surfaces by the flight computer. At the end of the day, super maneuverability is presumably not a priority for the NGAD fighter. Instead, stealth, range, and the use of drones would most likely be optimized. To further improve its stealth profile, the NGAD's fighter engine exhausts are shrouded to reduce the infrared or IR signature. This is an essential feature as modern fighters and defensive platforms increasingly rely on infrared search and track or IRST systems to detect stealth aircraft. Furthermore, as the NGAD fighter flies through the air, it generates heat on its surfaces, especially at the leading edges and nose, making thermal management crucial. The NGAD will likely use next-generation radar-absorbing materials, or RAM coatings, to combat this issue. These coatings should not only absorb or scatter radar waves, but also reduce the aircraft's heat signature. Recently, F-22s and F-35s have been seen test flying with chrome or mirror-like finishes, which are likely being used as test beds for the newer RAM coatings. The NGAD fighter is taking every measure to ensure that it remains undetected in the air, making it the ultimate air superiority platform. The NGAD fighter's cockpit is designed to be as stealthy as possible, with only two side windows. Traditional cockpit designs can be a source of detection, but the NGAD fighter's cockpit is integrated into the fuselage, with side windows serving as reference points only. The pilot will likely fly the plane using an advanced helmet system that feeds visual data from cameras located throughout the aircraft a technology known as Distributed Aperture System, or DAS. This system is already in use on the F-35 and allows pilots to see behind them and even through the aircraft. And what would a fighter be without weapons? The NGAD fighter is designed to bring a full arsenal to the fight, but without sacrificing stealth capabilities. To achieve this, the NGAD fighter stores its weapons in internal bays, which are located near the rear of the aircraft. In this notional concept of the NGAD fighter, the outer bays are reserved for lighter munitions, such as air-to-air -air missiles, which can be used for defensive purposes during strike missions or offensive purposes during air-to-air -air superiority missions. The inner bays, on the other hand, have a higher carrying capacity and are reserved for heavier, more powerful weapons such as laser-guided bombs, cruise missiles, and possibly even nuclear weapons. The NGAD fighter is ready to unleash a devastating payload on an enemy foolish enough to challenge its air superiority. The NGAD fighter is not just a replacement for the F-22 Raptor, it is a new era in air supremacy. The Raptor, while amazing, has one downside, a relatively short range. The Raptor was designed to fight in Europe, where combat ranges could be measured in hundreds of miles for NATO fighters. However, conflicts in the Pacific require much greater distances. For example, the nearest U.S. bases in Okinawa or Guam are about 500 miles or 1,800 miles from Taiwan, respectively. While the Raptor could carry external tanks or refuel from airborne tankers, these options would greatly degrade its stealth capabilities and make airborne tankers highly vulnerable to long-range missile attacks from enemy fighters. As a result, the NGAD fighter must have a much higher combat range on just internal fuel. Once again, the decision to forego the vertical tail despite the penalty of maneuverability is justified by the need to get as much range as possible out of its internal fuel capacity. Additionally, the ability to supercruise or fly supersonic without afterburners is a must. Aside from much lower fuel consumption, afterburner plumes are relatively easily detected, 
by IRST systems and even some radars. Therefore, the NGAD fighter should be optimized for endurance along with a high top speed. Why are higher top speeds important in a 6th generation fighter? It comes down to physics. A missile launched from an aircraft inherits the aircraft's speed, so a faster aircraft will be able to extend a missile's range. This also comes into play when considering hypersonic weapons, which are typically equipped with ramjets, engines that can only be started or activated at supersonic speeds. The NGAD fighter design will be a true marvel of engineering. Our notional concept features a double delta wing, a variant of which has been seen on the F-16 XL and Saab Draken before it. The double delta wing allows for high top speeds while maintaining excellent handling qualities, both at high and low speeds. The design features a wing with a high sweep on the inboard panel, which minimizes drag at supersonic speeds, and a low sweep on the outboard panel, providing superior handling and maneuverability at subsonic speeds. Our NGAD fighter design takes this concept to the next level, with a modified outer delta wing that is chopped or cut, rather than terminating in a triangular shape. This modification would likely require an even more sophisticated flight control system to manage, but given advancements in computer technology and modeling since the F-16XL, it's nothing less than a quantum leap in aviation design. Given the perilous situation of modern geopolitics, the need for the NGAD fighter is glaringly obvious. But the question that looms is not just how much it's needed, but how much it will cost. The projected cost per unit of the NGAD fighter is staggering, amounting to several hundred million dollars per copy. This would make it the most expensive weapon system in history. If the aim is to replace the F-22 fleet one-to-one, -one, then the aircraft would require about 180 NGAD fighters. Recently, the Air Force proposed a bold plan to procure 1,000 Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. What's interesting about this plan is that it envisions two unmanned aircraft for every NGAD fighter or F-35. This implies a fleet of roughly 200 NGAD fighters along with 300 F-35s and the remaining 500 aircraft being drones of various sizes and types. However, unlike popular opinions, these drones are not merely expendable assets, but rather are seen as, quote, an affordable mass, end quote. The intention is for the drone to be reused after each mission, but also take risks that may not be feasible for a manned aircraft. It is likely that the drones will initially be employed in the air-to-air -air role, and as AI and tactics advance, expand their capabilities to air-to-ground operations. The same pool of 500 drones could be used to team up with either NGAD fighters or F-35s, helping maintain a 2 to 1 ratio of unmanned aircraft to manned aircraft. The NGAD fighter is a revolutionary piece of machinery, but it comes at a cost that is as daunting as its capabilities. In order for the NGAD to dominate the skies like never before, it must be designed and built in ways that allow for efficient production, upgrades, and maintenance from day one. And nothing achieves this better than modular design and common interfaces. These design philosophies permit a system to be divided into smaller and reusable parts, which can be readily connected and exchanged. Think of USB ports or Lego bricks. USB ports are a common interface which allows various devices to be effortlessly connected to a computer or other device. USB ports greatly enhance compatibility and enable interoperability between devices while reducing the need for different cables or connectors. The NGAD program would benefit greatly by adopting these approaches, and this appears to be the route that the 6th generation B-21 Raider is taking. Another approach for NGAD development would be to allow for a more collaborative design effort by allowing multiple contractors and even stakeholders to participate in the overall process. While this might make the project slightly less secure, it would spread out costs and provide the ability to produce larger numbers of these aircraft, thereby making it an offsetting factor. In the end, the NGAD's greatest enemy may not be its adversaries, but rather the same thing that hindered the F-22, a lack of sustained production and sufficient numbers. The NGAD fighter is not invulnerable, but with enough assets, it could dominate the skies like never before. The NGAD fighter's ability to fly long ranges, super cruise, and maintain an incredibly low radar cross-section are all hallmarks of its design goals. The ability to control stealth drones for various tasks such as reconnaissance, air-to-air -air interceptions, sensor range extenders, and even as a defensive screen, should make the NGAD fighter and platform the next evolutionary step in aerial warfare. The NGAD may end up being the last crewed frontline fighter, 
with talks of uncrewed versions of both the NGAD and B-21 Raider. We may be witnessing a transition period in aviation history similar to how the propeller fighters of World War II gave way to the jet age. The NGAD fighter competition winner will be announced in 2024. I'll keep making videos and updating this 3D model as we learn more. If you'd like to take a deeper dive into the B-21 Raider, which the NGAD appears to be following in design philosophy, then check out this video. And now you know.